And now we'll take a look at some of the comics out now and coming soon in the pull list. Available right now is The Dreaming Waking Hours number 9 from DC Comics Black Label. This is written by G. Willow Wilson with art by Nick Robles. In this issue, seduced by the sensual wiles of the realm of fairy, Ruth and Heather After have not only been separated from the angel Joffiel, they've completely forgotten why they've set foot in this delightful place. But fairy's charms, literally, are lost on Joffiel and he remains firmly on a mission. Unfortunately for him, the king of fairy has his own ideas on just what Joffiel's power can do for him. This is a worthy successor to Neil Gaiman's original Sandman series. And if you enjoyed that, I recommend you pick this up right now. Also out now is Excalibur number 20 from Marvel Comics. This is written by Tinny Howard with art by Marcus Toe. In this issue, no pity from your friends. The Phantom Menace, an invisible threat, is loose on the island of Krakoa, unseen, unheard, undetectable by any except Excalibur. I'm enjoying this series a lot, and it's good to see Betsy's Captain Britain back in the realm of the living. Coming up next week, we have Star Trek Year 5, number 20 from IDW Publishing. This is written by Brandon Easton with art by Sylvia Califano. As the crew of the Enterprise moves towards an uncertain future, one of their own will be pulled into a violent past. While investigating a mysterious structure on Vulcan, Spock vanishes. As the crew tries to find him, Spock must fight to survive as he navigates the painful past of his home planet. And finally, coming up next week, we have Lock and Key, the Sandman Universe Hell and Gone number one from IDW Publishing and DC. This is written by Joe Hill with art by Gabriel Rodriguez. In this issue, if you think you can unlock the gates of hell and just invite yourself in, you must be dreaming. The epic crossover between two of the most beloved fantasy universes in comics begins here. John Jack Locke is 10 years dead, but that hasn't stopped him from posting the occasional letter home from hell. Now, Mary Locke will do anything to save her brother's soul, including cut a deal with Roderick Burgess, the most evil man in England, to search for answers in the House of Mystery and risk the walking nightmare known as the Corinthian to find help in the disintegrating kingdom of dreams. I'm looking forward to this series and I hope it pays off. Don't forget, you can also check out the Geeky Brummy Twitter feed on Wednesdays, where I'll also be posting up a few other great comics you should check out in Under the Radar and some comics news in Meanwhile. Until then, back to the main show.